So these are probably the second best gym headphones I've ever had. The first one being the Skull Candy Crusher Wireless and now these that I got on. So I'm gonna explain why. Let's get through this unboxing first. We got that unboxing out of the way. Now to discuss on how I feel about these headphones. Now, these are not the Project Rock editions because one, I'm not stupid like half of you guys are to waste $250 on the Project Rock versions because they're not worth $250. They they may look, they may feel the rugged design, you know, the leather ear cups, um, um, the like breathable material ear cups, I'm sorry. Yeah, it may look, like they may be like a little higher in price, but they don't sound like they're higher in price because my skull candies, okay, roughly around 200 bucks. I think I got these on sale for like a hundred and, ooh, gosh, I think 50. I don't remember how much I got it for, but I got it for pretty cheap. Um, these sound very loud. And of course you have the bass slider. So that makes everything a lot more better with these. These I find to be not that loud, but then again, I'm very different. I had my stepdad try these on. He said that he thought it was very loud. For me, they don't really feel loud. Um, certainly, these do have better clear crystal sound, crystal clear sound compared to the Skull Canis, because these are not like the best sound quality. They're meant to be just very loud and they meant to be with, of course, with the bass slider. So you're gonna get a lot of vibration, a lot of, you know, make your rap music a lot more better, make your hip hop music a lot more better. I mean, so that's the coolest thing about, you know, the Crusher Wirelesses. But these, of course, they sound better and the bass is a lot more realistic and a lot more better. Now, the bass is not so 
oomph. I don't feel that pounding in my ear like when I get with the skull candies, but they're more better. It's, it's more realer. You know what I'm saying? This is obviously not real. It's like a haptic feedback, so it's not real. So yeah, these will definitely, to me personally, do well in sound, but you know, I love loudness and I don't feel like I get enough with these, but it's okay. I'm willing to sacrifice on a big deal. Look, listen, these are meant for the gym. All right. These are meant for rugged, rugged, rugged situation. It doesn't have to be for the gym. I don't know. You could be, I don't know, practicing football by yourself. I don't know, playing basketball by yourself, whatever. And if you accidentally take them and just whoop, and it just falls out of your head, you will be secure that these are just not going to break. You know, the longevity for these are a lot more higher than your skull candies because this is obviously the the design. Like, and let me tell you a funny story with these quickly. Um, this is my second pair, my second pair, because the first ones I fucked them up. How by accidentally dropping them on the floor? I would wear these to the gym. You know, when I have them on, I will wind up like banging it on the wall by accident. And of course, when you do that, it winds up damaging and to a point where I was hearing a lot of static. Then I have to go ahead and do the whole thing with the warranty. And this is my second pair. So I don't bring these nowhere. I keep them into the house. I just keep them here. If I ever want to have that special one, I want to listen to that. Mm, I want just, just that head pounding bass. I keep them at home. But sometimes once in a blue, I'll take them to the gym. But since of course we have these, these are my full-time gym headphones now. Now, I had picked these up on Amazon for 130 with tax 140, but I don't know if it was Amazon themselves or it was JBL Under Armour together, whatever. They are offering a monthly payment plan on these and they don't, they, you don't need to do it with a credit card. You could just use it with your debit card on Amazon. There's no, you don't have to worry about fees, late fees, none of that. They, once you, so when I bought them, they took out like 30 something dollars for shipping. And now next month they're going to take off. They're going to take away 20, 21 bucks for me next month, 21 and so on and so forth. So you can either buy these full, full price or just pay them a monthly in advance. So, you know, that's what I'm doing with these. So I had to jump on these now because obviously I, I before, I think before the sale, I think these were like 200 bucks. And of course with the project rock ones, they're 250, which why I said, don't, you know what I said, don't. I mean, you do whatever you want, but I don't think you should be going on ahead and picking up the Project Rock ones because it's not, it's, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, you know? But I think you should go on ahead, save your money, get yourself just the regular ones with the Under Armour logo on it, save a lot more money. It makes more sense. These sound like they're worth 130. They don't sound like they're $250. You know what I'm saying? Of course, that's my personal preference on the sound, but whatever, you judge. Two cool ass features about these talk through technology this right here is one of the best clever idea from jb on under armor so when that fucking douchebag steroid junkie comes to you and he's like hey i'm a douchebag steroid junkie you want some steroids and you're like what is what what is that you say he's like hey you got a couple more sets with this now nah, you can go ahead okay cool boom i'm back to my workout the best feature is that talk through technology so i was that when you click it the music drops down its volume automatically to like, I don't know, five to 10%. The microphones kick in. So you hear a lot more of your ambient sound. You wind up hearing yourself as a robot, but it's okay. And you can hear everything. You can have a full on conversation without never having to take off your headset. So you press it. You never have to be like this. You never have to be like this. You know what I'm saying? You never have to be like this or just take them up. You never have to do that. Keep them on, press that button. Talk to that douchebag that's wasting your time. And of course, my other favorite feature, you can take off the uh the cushion you could take these off now i'm not going to take them off because they're a big pain in the ass to put it back on so i don't have a lot of patience uh so if you have a lot of patience every workout you could take them off put them back on but what i do is i have these these are like um uh little covers for your cushion so i'll throw in links of these if you're interested you know you could buy these take them i like to you know just put it on like that boom right so this will absorb I don't know, like 50% of the sweat and then the rest of it will go here. So it will preserve the smell. Now, guys, just to let you know, um, just because these are like breathable and they're like, oh, they're sweat proof, whatever it could absorb. The sweat. Cool. So what is that doing is that it's not going to damage the, the cushions. Like these are not going to damage and break or deteriorate compared to like if you sweat hard, oops, if you sweat hard on these, you know, this leather ear could be, yeah, it will deteriorate. The color will fade. Oh, like, look, you can. Oh yeah, look, you can even see. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see. I think you can see. I don't know. I don't know if you see a little scrape right there, but it, you know, it's the point. Um, but these will collect the smell. So if you do not wash these, like 
and if you wait like three or four months and if you work out hard like super hard like i do with a lot of sweat dripping yeah these will smell like shit so if you want you can take these out every workout wash them or you know i like put these on and then like every week i'll go on ahead and i'll wash these and then put them back on and we good so battery life on these is life um when i have bought these and when i tried them on um i believe there were at least like 90 to 80 percent of battery i had worked out with these five times uh yeah so i worked out like three times then i had my day off then i worked out two times right and that one specific day i was working out with my buddy of mine i was like oh man i forgot to charge these so i looked at it, i was like okay it's probably around 40 or 30 percent of battery that day it died but it lasted me five workouts five workouts the day when i took these out five workouts so battery is life on these 16 hours and quick charge so you can go ahead one out so about well, let me see what the box is so five minutes of charge will give you one hour which is pretty interesting with the quick charge because it isn't a usb c it's just the you know it's not a usb type c it's just a, a regular one a regular micro usb or whatever um so the fact that they still got quick charge that's a one for you guys of course you have like this case is just so so nice and then right here too i don't know if you could tell breathable so if you're done with these you put them back in you know it's some holes in here so that way you know all the smoke will come out whatever um oh man super nice very very rugged beaten up you know what i'm saying so nice so if you put these in here and you just i don't know decide one day to chuck it this case will help this to survive I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick video of me throwing these down the stairs before i left uh from the gym That was an exaggerated thing of me throwing it down the stairs, but like the, the first time when I got them, I showed it to my dad and I threw it like on my floor and like they're fine. I, that's not as much, but the point is that since these have this rugged, nice design, if you wind up dropping them, like it's like you're good. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice to know that the longevity of these is gonna be a lot more longer than let's say right here or my Taltronic sound surges, which by the way, I you know really like these. These are really good noise canceling. But of course, if I were to drop this and throw them down the stairs, uh, I will have to uh, claim my warranty, you know? Now, another thing that I really don't like about these is that at least an hour or an hour and a half of my training or just using them in general, they really do start hurting my ears a lot. So look, if you're not comfortable wearing on-ear headphones, uh then you know these are not going to be for you if you're very sensitive with your ears if you find you get pain too much whatever with headphones uh these definitely won't be as comfortable because i know when i keep these on i put them on i walk to the gym which roughly roughly is around 20 minutes i'll go i'll do my cardio then do my one hour of training and then come back home yeah it's very uncomfortable i find that i have to take it out just you know massage i don't really massage my ears but other people whatever you know just to relax my ears because they do and I, I don't think it's the clamping force. And by the way, strong clamping force. So you could take them. Uh, 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 these are not going anywhere from your head. But um, yeah, I don't think it's the clamping force that's the problem. I just think that obviously I'm not used to having on-ear headphones. I'm always used to having over the ear. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I don't personally like. I do get very uncomfortable and I find I have to take it off like every hour and a half or so just to, you know, let my ears relax. I find with uh, phone call quality, I think it's good. I think it sounds nice, crystal clear. Um, anybody that I've had, you know, phone conversations with while I'm at the gym using these, uh, they didn't seem to have a problem. They wouldn't ask me, hey, can you repeat that? It really wouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, phone calls are definitely pretty good on these. So yeah, guys, just to go ahead and recap a couple things, um, possibly one of the best gym headphones you can ever own, um, cushion ear, these uh, breathable ear cups that you can take them out, wash them are really nice, talk through technology, which is so cool, so you never have to take them off, rugged design, so if you throw them out the window, most likely they'll survive, alongside with your really, really nice case, come on, bro, a, a, car a carabiner clip, come on, man. That's nice, that's 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 nice. Long lasting battery, so you don't have to worry about charging them constantly. So at least every fifth workout, you'll have to charge these. So that's really cool. Of course, to the things that I didn't really like the most, um, I once again, I don't like uh, how they feel in my ears. I get really pain in my ears. I'll have to, of course, take them off to relax my ears. 
um for me uh the price point of of, of the project rock edition is being 250 bucks um for some now of course i didn't buy them i just bought the regular one so awesome for me but i think bad for you if you wasted that much money 250 on the project rock ones because they don't really sound that good so obviously it's leading me to the sound um i find sound quality uh is good crystal clear which i like great but to me they're not loud enough and i love loud music but like i said everybody varies but for me i don't think they're loud enough um and the bass is just not booming now the bass is more pure more realistic than your skull candy you know crusher wirelesses but still you know it's a JBL. I, I feel like they should have really just give you a mm, little pump. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that I didn't like. But, yeah, guys, other than that, pick these up now with the price that they're asking for. 130 tax, 140 You won't regret this purchase. Or, if you want, just pick these up, right? And then go on ahead and get yourself a little cushion. You know, put them on, and then you can preserve these a little bit. They will... Ooh, fucking... Sh God, they smell like shit. Um, you know, the smell will be bad, but you know, the, at least the leather will preserve just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or the same thing with these, put them on and you know, you're Gucci. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a like, feel free to subscribe if you want. If you don't, it's okay. Not a big deal to me. And also if you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. Okay. I always answer to all the questions that anyone comments on all the stuff that I show. As always, guys and gals, please take care and be safe.